Hello, my name is Robin Groom. Today we're going to talk about the radio telescope. Since human nature has evolved, we have been staring at the night sky for long periods of time. In these long periods of time, humans have interpreted these stars and planets several ways. For some people, it is still a distant god or a place for our ancestors. Every culture has a different interpretation of meaning of these stars, but science has also evolved throughout this time to give us a better view of the whatever we are exactly seeing. Those stars are thousands or millions of light years away. We might not be able to pilot the starship to explore this limitless universe. But the cool thing about the science is we can at least observe and study those distant objects by using these telescopes. When you think of the telescope, we visualize the telescope made by glass lenses or maybe by mirrors which are called optical telescopes. They let us peer into the sky to see the visible objects that reflect the light. This telescope is using only visible spectrum which is the only objects that our eyes can see. That is very tiny slice of the universe. But there is much much more objects in this universe besides those visible objects which cannot be seen by optical telescope or with our eyes. Such as like black hole. But the cool thing is modern astronomers have more options to see those objects which cannot be seen by optical telescopes. So astronomers have to use the different approach which is radio telescopes. And there is a problem for optical telescopes because there is a lot of dust in the universe and the and that stops the light to getting us getting to us. And also universe is expanding, so redshift and those dust is a problem for the optical telescopes. But there is a different scenario for radio telescopes. It helps us to explore the universe better than optical telescopes because it uses radio waves to observe the universe so it allows us to peer the universe more deeply because it doesn't get stopped by the dust or celestial so which means we can see everything in the universe through this radio telescopes redshift is less of a problem because it uses a very very long wavelengths so before we get into the radio telescopes so we should understand what is the radio waves is so we'll talk about the radio waves now radio waves are type of the electromagnetic radiation with the wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum longer than infrared light or microwaves or visible lights the wavelength of the radio waves are one millimeter to ten thousand kilometer which means it can be the size of the grain of the rice to diameter of the earth and like other electromagnetic waves radio waves can travel at the speed of light in the vacuum which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so since we understand the what is the radio waves are so we're going to talk about the how radio telescopes works radio telescopes are basically astronomical instrument consisting of a radio receiver and a antenna system that is used to detect the radio frequency radiation between wavelengths of 1 millimeter to 10 meters emitted by extraterrestrial sources such as stars, galaxies and geysers. Radio telescopes are typically large parabolic antennas which is also called DISH similar to those employed in tracking and communicating with the satellite and probes. And the cool thing is, unlike uh, optical telescopes, radio telescopes uh, can be used in the daytime as well as at the night. Since the astronomical radio sources such as planets, stars, nebulas and galaxies are very far away, the radio waves coming from them are extremely weak. So radio telescopes require very large antennas to collect enough radio energy to study them. And also the extremely sensitive receiving equipment. Radio observatories are preferentially located far from major centers of population to avoid the electromagnetic infer interference from radio, television, radar, motor vehicles, and other man-made electronic devices. Simply like you cannot take the cell phones out there. <laughs> so 
we're going to talk about the basics of how single dish radio telescope works. Um, radio telescopes vary widely, but they all have three basic components. First is a large radio antenna, and then second is a sensitive radio meter uh, or radio receiver. And then third is the recorder. The sensitivity of the radio telescope, which is the ability to measure weak sources of radio emission, which depends both on area and efficiency of the antenna and on the sensitivity of radio receiver used to amplify and detect the signal. As we already know that a radio telescope is simply a telescope that is designed to receive uh, radio waves from space. First basic component of a radio telescope uh, is antenna. It is used to collect the incoming radio waves. Uh, most of the antennas are parabolic dishes that reflects the radio waves to a receiver in the same way as a curved mirror can focus a visible light to a point just like in uh, optical telescopes. Antennas of radio telescope have to be much larger than optical telescope because the wavelength of radio waves are so much larger than wavelength of visible light. Second component of a radio telescope is a receiver and amplifier. It is used to boost the very weak radio signal to a measurable level. These days the amplifiers are extremely sensitive and normally cools to very low temperatures to minimize the interference due to the noise generated by the movement of the atoms in the metal, which is also called the thermal noise. A third component of a radio telescope is a recorder. Uh, it is used to keep up a record of the signal. Most radio telescopes nowadays record directly to some form of computer memory disk as astronomers use sophisticated software to process and analyze this data. But still the recorder is the component of the radio telescopes. Now we're going to talk about the lot of types of radio telescopes that exist in the Earth. This is Green Bank Telescopes and this is located in the West Virginia in the United States of America and this is world's largest fully stereoable uh, radio telescopes. This is China Sky Eye. China's 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope known as FAST is the world's most sensitive listening device. The single dish radio telescope is made of 4450 individual panels that scans the sky, detecting the universe, dispersed and sounds. This very large array uh, telescopes are located in New Mexico. Uh, this VLA comprises 28 25 meters radio telescopes deployed in y shaped array and all the equipment instruments and computing power to function as an in interferometer uh, which means combining the signals from many telescopes like those combined combined signals allows the array to act as a one large telescope to improve the angular resolution since Earth's atmosphere distorts the image that we see from the telescope of the Earth's surface, so for the better view, astronomer has launched the telescope in this space to see the image of celestial objects. Without any distortion, the space telescope can detect the wavelength that astro atmosphere blocks. This is the Hubble Space Telescope. Even though it was not the first space telescope, but it is the one of the largest and most versatile telescopes and it is well known both as vital research tool and as a public relation boon for astronomy. Thank you for your time to listening to my radio telescope video. Hope this was not boring at all. Ciao!